Hello Himo friends and welcome to this new video. Since the last couple of weeks of December 2022, I am following a strength training program and today I want to share with you the experience I had in these first six months, telling you how this affected my fencing and overall athletic performance and my quality of life. Let's start with my program. It is actually pretty simple, while relatively repetitive, which are two aspects which I personally tend to enjoy. It is based on the big four lifts, squat, deadlift, bench press and overhead press. I train with heavy weights on a small number of repetitions, between 3 and 5, for 3 to 5 sets with a constant, while relatively small, increase of weight week by week. I have a few complementary exercises, like dumbbell hammer curls, for example, which complete the training and change every now and then. I am followed by a professional, Coach Dirk of Upward Barbell. You will find some link of uh, his social media and website in the description, which introduced me to strength training and which helped me immensely in obtaining fast and safe results. This is extremely summarized what I am doing since six months. So what changed during these six months and how? Talking about my fencing, training strength definitely improved my performance. First of all, after a two hour long training session, I am not tired anymore at all. Now I can keep a deeper stance without feeling everything burning after the first two minutes of fencing. And my footwork is now more precise and something which actually surprised me a lot, more balanced. Balance is something I wasn't expecting to improve while training strength, but I can definitely feel the difference every time I have to step, actually. My arms and chest are now stronger and I can feel this while handling my sword. I don't enter too much into specific descriptions because everything can be summarized with a simple sentence. The sword feels lighter, so every action, be it defensive or offensive, which moves the sword around is actually easier now. My cardio basically remained more or less the same. Maybe it is a little bit improved, but nothing serious. Because anyway, I train it the same way as before. But I noticed that running now is easier. Namely, if I train cardio now, my limit is only related to cardio itself and not to legs getting tired. Which is something I can say only now, because before getting stronger, I couldn't even make the distinction, fun enough. Talking about quality of life, it definitely improved everything. I move around with my fencing equipment every single day for four to five days per week, up and downstairs, uphill and downhill to shoot the videos for you, and now it seems like carrying lesser than half the weight I felt six months ago. And this is just an example. Every other task in my life which requires moving around and do something physical now became easier to complete. Psychologically speaking, lifting weights helps quite a lot. It uh, for sure improves confidence, but for me the main uh, change that I had, the main teaching that uh, taught me was related to it being progressive namely doing things step by step, slowly and with consistency. Something that I already had, but uh, it taught me even more in this direction. And of course, it's endurance component, not in a physical sense, but in a psychological one, of course. Overcoming the challenge of lifting something a bit heavier every, every week has been quite complex to deal with at the beginning. Now instead is the norm and I feel that this taught me something quite important actually. The downsides are only a few and uh, relatively minor I will say. The first one is quite personal because it is related to the amount of activity I do weekly. As I added around 8 hours of lifting heavy weights to my training, I now train between 18 and 22 hours per week depending from the week. And so my body had to deal with this change and I got sick a bit more than my usual during this winter because of the amount of stress my body had to face throughout this change. The second were a couple of minor lumbar tweaks while getting used to this kind of training. I recovered from them in three to four days, so nothing serious at all. 
but definitely something that can happen while going through this kind of training, especially at the beginning. So, after this long experiment, I would personally advise this kind of training to you. It is useful, I personally find it enjoyable too, and if you are committed enough, it will give you good results in a relatively small amount of time, even without training 4 days per week as I do. I feel that my fencing has changed for the better thanks to it in a relevant way, and so that's why I think I will keep going with this kind of activity for as much as it will feel comfortable and useful for my HEMA activity. Very good people, I hope you will find this video interesting and useful. Remember that if you want to support me, you can do it through my Patreon page, link in the description, or through the new super thanks feature that YouTube added lately, which is again down in the description. Thanks for watching people and uh, see you next time.